Hi. Hello, good to see you. Hello, how are Andrew. You? And you, Robert, how are you? Yes, not too bad, thank you. Keeping okay. I'm uh, managed to log on it. All the problems that I was having, it was caused by a cheap cable. Oh, right. That's why I kept losing internet connection. Because oh, I'm, I'm tethering off a phone. So I've, re I've thrown the cable away and put a, another cheap cable in, and everything's working perfectly. So it's all tickety boo. So the, the, second, the second cheap cable is better than the first cheap cable, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where, so where, where are you sitting then, Robert? Where do you live? Oh, I'm 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 quite some way to the west of you. All right. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, this enjoy life forever broke book. How did you get hold of that? Then who gave you that one? You um, somebody? I, I downloaded it from JW.org and then right. I wrote away for a paper copy. Okay. Oh, well, good for you. Right. Well, as I say, I apologise for my slightly casual appearance. <laughs> I'd like to have been a bit tidier. Yeah. But it's just the way it's been. I've been, work, been working today, and I've yes. been out a while. But yes, of course. Anyway, um, I've got your text. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm only on my own talking to you. I'll do. I'll discuss a few bits tonight as we can. Um, I might just make the odd written note on a bit of biro of any questions you present. I can't deal with this evening, so I'll make sure I get back to you about that. Is that okay with you? Um, this is on the re Jesus resurrected as a spirit. Is is that uh, it? Or? Where are we? Um, so that that'll be that'll be section fifteen then. Yeah. Um, it's quite a it's quite an in-depth conversation it would take some time right on. we could leave it for another time if you like and where you've got more time because All I right. think you really need to prepare for that I really don't All think right. 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty proves that Jesus resurrected as a spirit it's, it's talking about the kingdom of God right in that verse and it's saying that the wicked won't enter into the kingdom of God so I think that one thing that shocked me was when I went to JW.org, you totally ignore all the proof texts and all the scriptures that every Christian church has used to prove that Christ rose in the same body for 2,000 years. Everything's just totally ignored. I was, I was shocked. Um, okay. So I, I think it's a case of perhaps looking at this, which I would like to, but in depth. Um, right. There was one other thing that, that shocked me, and that was the Watchtower's involvement with Freemasonry. Well, that would be news to me if there is, but you carry on. Um, I've got a copy of Pastor Russell's sermons. It's very old. And in right. the first sermon, which is um, on page 7, it, he mentions Abraham as the Grand Master of a Junior Order. Now, I've got right. an original copy of that book, not something photoshopped off the internet. Right. Grand Master is a Masonic term. Yeah. Well, maybe Pastor Russell was one that uh, was part of the Freemasonry arrangement in those many years. I don't know for sure. Maybe. Mm. Um, we are looking at hundred odd, hundred and how many years? Hundred and twenty-five years ago. So I suppose it might not might be possible. I don't know. Um, he's buried near to a pyramid. The pyramid was actually taken down last year. But he was right. they the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society built a nine foot tall pyramid, uh, almost beside Pastor Russell's grave. It was part of a Watchtower plot, and the names of leading Jehovah's Witnesses well they weren't called Jehovah's Witnesses they were called yeah, Bible yeah, students yeah. at the time was going to go on the pyramid. Um, yeah. At the top of the pyramid there is an all seeing eye. Unfortunately, yes, I think I'd, I think I'd vaguely heard something about that. Yeah. Yes, there is also a cross and crown symbol on it, not just an ordinary cross, but a slanted cross within a crown, which is a symbol of the Knights Templar. It's um, a symbol of very high level Freemasonry. Right. Um, now, the pyramid was taken down last year because it was vandalised and they didn't want to pay money to repair it. Right. Um, there was also something hidden inside it. There was um, a box, a time capsule box, and apparently somebody used a crowbar to uh, open the sides of the pyramid and steal, steal the box, which was rather disrespectful, I think. Um, in another one of Pastor Russell's works at the time, it was quite incredible, the photodrama of creation. Yeah. Films, of course, were, were silent at the time, but yeah. they used phonographs to run in conjunction with the film. They even coloured some of the slides. It really was right, yeah, breathtaking, yeah. breathtaking um, advances in technology to actually have colour film 
with sound that although it wasn't quite synonymous, it was fairly, fairly close. Yeah. It was very, very was, clever was, the, was, the way that they did that. In its day, yeah, absolutely. Um, if you look at the top of the advertising for the photo drama of creation, now that's in the Warwick. Um, there's a sort of museum or a sort of um, museum of the Watchtower at your Warwick yeah, head, yeah. Head, headquarters. Um, and I looked at something on the Warwick site. It was the photodrama of creation. It was advertising for it, an advertising flyer. And at the top of the advertising flyer, it had the word daily. And either side of daily, it had a, a, a pillar. And that's a famous well, I... way in which Freemasons identify themselves through two pillars. Every right. Freemason hall has two uh, pillars known as jo um, Boaz and Joachim. Right. Um, the names used in Solomon's Temple, obviously. Yeah, I was thinking that, yeah. Um, so it's, 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 So if you see literature or videos or something with two c pillars, it's very often identifying itself as having a Masonic um, overview or the Masons right. would, would approve of this in some way. Now that's yeah. on the um, photodrama of creation. And I was a bit shocked right. about that. Yeah. Yeah. When you go, Andrew, to modern kingdom halls, and I went to Google and I looked at the front of many kingdom halls, mm. um, the raised platform at the front of the kingdom hall, you'll often find two pillars or two columns there now very often they're just cosmetic they're not holding up the roof absolutely yeah do you have um that in your kingdom hall not in in richmond no we don't but i'm wondering why two pillars or two columns at the front of kingdom uh, at the front of the kingdom hall could it be that they're advertising this is a group that has the approval or is run tacitly by the freemasons no, it wouldn't be that. I'm only trying to think. North Allerton, I don't think so. Um, Darlington, I don't think so. Um, the only thing, the only thing I've ever seen pillars for in a, on a platform background is only for symmetry, really. Um, I was in Hertfordshire, Hertfordshire at Kingdom Hall for over thirty odd years, and there was never any pillars on the platform at all in thirty odd years. Um, there isn't. We have an assembly hall. We have an assembly hall in in, in near, near Rotherham that doesn't have any pillars on the platform, other than mm -hmm. the fact it has steel uprights so all the roof up. There's a couple of those on there, but there's pillars all around the building. Under the roof would collapse. So I don't. I would. I would suggest to you, for my knowledge, that is only to do with with symmetry or cosmetic. It's very possible um, that Russell may well have had connections as an individual with Freemasonry. Hundred odd years ago, yes. uh, the same, the same thing, the same explanation, the same explanation would arise from the fact that over the, over year, over the number of years, our understanding of Scripture has changed and been revised, and so yes. our, our teachings and doctrines and behaviour has changed. For example, uh, you'll be aware that um, you'll be aware, for example, that celebration of Christmas is something witnesses don't do. Mm -hmm. Russell would have done that. Russell would have celebrated Christmas. Uh, at that time, that came that came much later in the twentieth twentieth century, and for example, of course, as regards um, the use of blood, uh, of which witnesses have a definite position, that didn't come into our understanding until the nineteen fifties. So, it may well have been. You may well be right, and I wouldn't challenge you. You may well be right that as an individual, uh, Russell had connections with Freemasonry to some extent or another. We don't. No individual does in the congregations today. The governing bodies certainly don't. Um, and we wouldn't have any obvious connection with him in any way at all at this time. But it may well have been a hundred odd years ago. I, I wouldn't challenge you. It's very possible. I'm looking for a scan. I've got a scan of an early Watchtower. I'm uh, not Watchtower. New World Translation. Right. And it's before the Silver Edition of 2013 revision. Yeah. So it would be every Watchtower up until the well the, the 1980s. I know yeah. it's the book of Hosea. I think yeah. it's 1214. Hosea yeah. chapter 12, verse 14. It uses the word grandmaster. Well, that kind of shocked me a bit. No, it's not in 1214. Uh, 
uh, at yes Hosea twelve fourteen, not in the silver edition in the in the early edition of the watch. Let me just see if I, let me just see if I, I haven't got the revised version on that one. I have to go back to the revised. But hang on, let's have a, let me see if I've got one handy. Um, da, 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 um, hang on. Hang on, let's have a look. I've got one here. Let's go, go back before. Yes, Hosea 12, before. 12, 14. Chapter 12, verse 14. It oh, starts off, okay. Ephraim caused offence to bitterness. Yeah, got that. Yeah. Do you want to read it? Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah. Ephraim caused offence to bitterness, and his deeds of, of bloodshed he leaves upon his own self, and his reproach his grandmaster will repay to him. Okay. That was the later version of course is Lord, so that means it's obviously Jehovah. Which version, which edition were you reading from? Do you know? This is the re this is the reference Bible. So this this would be before twenty thirteen. This is the original. This is one of the original one, the right. earlier one. Right. This is the large print version. That's why I've got four volumes in it. This happens to be on the, my on my shelf next to me. Um, so mm -hmm. I'll just see. That would be the nineteen eighties, wouldn't it? The large print um, edition. Yes, that would have been the revised. I'll just get the copyright date for you. Uh, 84. 84. Okay, thank 84, you. 84, that one. I've got a copy of that, that one myself the one. somewhere. The, there was nothing. There was no revision between 84 and 2013. The 2013 one right. is, is, the late, is the latest revision. Right, right. Um, there are pictures on JW Broadcasting of Mr. Lett. And on his little finger, he, seems to, he is wearing a pinky ring, a small ring on his little finger. It has a blue oh. face on it. I've blown it up. And yeah. it's likely, it is a bit hard to see, and I don't have the best of sight. I'm, I'm getting on a bit, as you can see. I'm not in my <laughs> prime. <laughs> um, but it does seem, Andrew, that it's got a square and compass on it. Now, he, there was a hoo-ha about this. I, I've never been a Jehovah's Witness, by the way. Right. I used to be an yeah. evangelical Christian. Okay. And he's yeah. never worn it since on JW Broadcasting. But... On 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 that early episode of JW Broadcasting, he 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 did wear what appeared to be a small pinky ring, with a square and compass on, which of course would identify him as a Freemason. Right. And there's also a picture of Garrett Garrett Loesch, um, which is off the internet, and I understand stuff can be photoshopped on the internet. He is shaking his wife's hand. His wife is wearing a red dress. So if you look on Google for Garrett, Garrett Loesch, look at the picture of Garrett Loesch and his wife. I don't know how to put things up on these Zoom meetings. I don't know if it's possible to put a picture up. Can that be done or? I don't know. Well, I think you can share stuff. I'm not sure whether you can do it. I'm hosting it, aren't I? Anyway, carry on. Um, if, you, if you look, he's holding his wife's hand and his thumb... I'll just do it for you. His thumb is touching her second knuckle. Right. And that is a, is a Freemason handshake. So he's giving his wife the Masonic handshake in this photograph. Um, if you Google it, you can find it quite easily. They're just an elderly couple. She's smiling very sweetly. She seems a lovely mm. lady. She's dressed all in red. Um, but Mr. Loesch seems to be making Masonic handshake as if he's wishing to give a message. Um, but I, I'll leave the most shocking thing till last, and this really does shock me. It's the Silky Silky Borg, S I L K E B O R G, Silky Borg Regional Outdoor Jehovah's Witness Center in Denmark. All right. Um, it's built in such a way, and it was built in the 1990s, and of course, um, drones drones didn't exist in those days mm. and google earth didn't exist but if you if you look at it from above um well it's it's quite clear that the seating area which has um, a white strip over it is made to look like an all-seeing eye it reminds me of pastor russell's masonic pyramid with his all-seeing eye at the top of the pyramid um you'll find the silky borg regional center is well, it's clearly been designed deliberately in the same way. So those are the things I'm really thinking about, Andrew. Um, 
I, I've talked a lot. I'll, I'll listen to what you have to say. Thank you. That's nice fun. Thank you for your That's patience. Fun. I thought That's it would right. be best to leave the resurrection till another time because it is a very detailed topic. Yeah. And I have done, when I say I've done a lot of work on it, I have done an awful lot of work on it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's been something that's been debated a great deal about his resurrection, isn't it? Um, mm hmm But we'll have to come to that. I'll have a good look into that myself. Yes. Refresh, refresh, my, refresh myself about that, and we can do what yes. we can do with that together. I think it will be best um, for you to look at that before we yeah, I will do. D discuss I will that do. so you can prepare. Yeah, I yeah. certainly will. Can um, you understand my concerns about the link between the Watchtower and a possible connection to Freemasonry? Yeah, I can. Um... Yeah, I can. Um, as regards, for example, um, let's for, let me give you an example of something I've I've had to deal with. Stephen let had a finger ring on, pinky ring on, where somebody might have decided looked a certain way, and maybe he was he was given that information himself and told that he, he would have known what was actually the ring was on it, but it might be the indication was it was something else. So he doesn't he hasn't worn it any time since. I'll give you an example of something mm -hmm. I had. Um, I. Uh, I went to uh, a meeting with some people, not in the congregation, but just a secular meeting, with a nice shirt and some nice cufflinks on. Mm -hmm. And my, my my cufflinks have been bought for me by my wife some years ago. Yeah. yeah. And they're and they're a rainbow. They're a rainbow pattern. Now, of course, nowadays, if you wear anything <laughs> with a rainbow, well, you know what I'm saying, don't you? Yes, of course. Pe pe people just said to me and made a comment to me or two about the, you know, how lovely cufflinks are, and, and they knew I was a witness anyway. But that meant they were then. To... Oops. I, I think I'm going to shut the video down because I'm losing. You're going to have to repeat that. Oh, you're, I'm, you're going to have to repeat that. I'm shutting down the video because I'm tethering okay, off a phone. And when it gets to six, seven, eight o'clock at night, uh, yeah, the I bandwidth, there's okay, so many Robert. people using it. So if okay. you just want to say that again, Steve, uh, um, Andrew, you know, I'll, the only, I'll, the only I'll listen. All, all I was saying, Robert, was that there was some. I, I wore those. I wore those couplets for no obvious reason at all. Other than I happened to like them. They were a gift. Mm. But because they obviously were rain rainbow patterned, it made people think perhaps I, I was inclined to support certain positions <laughs> as regards morality. Because I, it's just <laughs> of a rainbow. course, of course, I understand. So it, may, it means that I tend not to wear those now, um, so as not to give a false impression. I know, I know why I'm wearing them. I know, sure. I know why I've got sure. rainbow on them. I know they're not for an LGBTQ reason, but it gave a false impression to other people. So I just don't wear them so much mm. now, unless I know I'm going to wear them out of the way of anybody who might yeah. misunderstand. If that may well have happened with. With um with with Steve Steve Lett, um okay. potentially um why why it would be Brother Losh would want to use a Freemason handshake with his wife I have no idea if if he is a, if he was a Freemason she'd know anyway wouldn't she so why would he want to I don't know maybe I, he'd be identifying himself to the people who are going to watch the photograph well that that's where his ultimate loyalties lie well. Then you'd, he'd have a problem, wouldn't he? Because mm -hmm. he'd be compromised, wouldn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, look, thank you, thank you very much, Andrew, for your time. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm fine with that, Robert. I have no issue, mate. I'm pleased to talk to you. Um, you've given me things to think about. I have no issue with that. I'm fine with that, and I'll do what I can. Now, we need to get back on together at some point. Yep. Um, as I